Good afternoon from Poulton's Park, which is the first major theme park in the UK to be open for the 2023 season. I'm here to get on some of the best UK family coasters. They've got some awesome rides in Tornado Springs, Lost Kingdom, Cobra, and so much more. Today, I'm gonna to aim to get on all of the major rides here at Poulton's Park. They've also got Peppa Pig World, which we'll check out a little bit later on in the vlog. But I'll tell you what, it's so nice to be back at a theme park. These are gonna be the first roller coasters that I get on for the 2023 season. And I'll tell you what, I'm very excited for that. In this vlog as well, we're gonna check out all the latest updates from Poulton's Park, including a brand new water ride, which is coming in 2024. So with all that said, let's head over to Tornado Springs, which is where I'm going to start this jam-packed vlog here from Poulton's Park. Poulton's Park is an expensive park to come to. It cost me around £40 to come in today, and it's not part of Merlin, so you can't use a Merlin annual pass. But is it really worth it? And is the range of rides justify the price? Well, that's what I'm going to explore in this video. So with all that said, let's head over to Tornado Springs, where the newest roller coasters and rides are located. So this is the newest area at Poulton's Park, Tornado Springs opened back in 2021. I came here for opening actually, and here I am two seasons later to sort of see how it's aged. And I tell you what, it's only got better because the plants and stuff have really grown since I was last year, last here. <laughs> and here we are. Here's the main coaster of Poulton's Park and this area, of course, Storm Chaser, the Junior Max spinning coaster. It's bigger brother over at Plopsaland, Ride to Happiness. <laughs> And yeah, you can see all the theming around there as well. The great thing about this area is, while the rides aren't huge, I'll say that, but they've also got Cyclonator over there, which we'll have a little look at. The theming is awesome. We've got all the traffic lights here, of course, themed all around Route 81. All the little details around here, you've got the railway line going through all the area as well. But there you go, in the distance, you can see Cyclonator, the new generation of Intamin Gyro Swings. We'll head on that a little bit later on. Yeah, just the stuff like that, the windmill spinning, you know. All the little details that matter in these small areas. Especially with Poulton's Park, it's not owned by a big company, it's just owned by a little family. And it's nice to see all these small little details. In there you've got a restaurant as well. But yeah, I tell you what, for the ticket price of Poulton's Park, the theming better be good as well. I think it's about £40 I paid to come here today. And yeah, there's high competition at the moment with theme parks and pricing. Here we go then, heading into Storm Chaser. Currently on a zero minute queue. Wouldn't expect anything less. The park's not looking busy at all today. And the last time I went on this was 2021 when it opened. And yeah, it's interesting to see how it's sort of aged uh, two years on now in 2023. It's a Mac Junior spinning coaster. Of course, there's other Macs that are bigger, such as Ride to Happiness over at Plopsaland. And yeah, I tell you what, the theme in here is pretty cool. So we'll take you on ride with an on-ride POV uh, from one of the best spinning coasters in the UK, arguably. Mac Ride Special, Ride to Happiness in the UK. So I've just had an awesome ride over on Storm Chaser, the best coaster down here at Poulton's Park. Open back in 2021, it's the Junior Mac uh, sort of spinning coasters. And yeah, what an amazing family ride that is. The height restriction is only about one meter, I think. And yeah, it's got some awesome theming around. It's not the fastest, it's not the spinniest roller coaster, uh, but it's great fun for the family. And you can take all the family on there because of that low height restriction. The theming is awesome. The ride's quite short, but you don't really need it much longer. And I think they're only, run they're only running one train at the minute. And I think they've only actually bought one train as well. But it's an awesome family ride and probably the best down here at Poulton's Park. Next up though, it's time to head on Buffalo Falls. These slides here, perfect timing. Talk about timing, that was awesome. Um, yeah, the boat ride down here at Poulton's Park where you head on little dinghies and you slide down the slides. So let's head on.
So I've just had a ride over on Buffalo Falls, the little dinghy slides. They're great little fun, the kids love them. Uh, but they're slides at the end of the day, what more do you want me to say? Uh, over there, as you can see, you've got the twin little drop towers there. Only one's in operation today, but when it's so quiet, I don't think it's really worth running to. Here we are though, the biggest ride, probably the biggest ride of this area, Cyclonator, the new generation of Intamin gyro swings. And what's great about this is the theming, like all the supports here are all nicely themed and the support beams there have all got paintings on, which is really nice to see. And also the planting around it, all of this, it's really nice and that continues throughout this area. The little details are really good to spot and also over in the distance you can see the little junior coaster which is a newer ad newer addition to the area which i think i'll check out a little bit later on in the vlog but before that let's head on cyclinator it's only got a five minute queue as well but the question is is it better than maelstrom at drayton manor I've just had an awesome ride over on Cyclonator, the new generation of Intamin gyro swings. And at the start of my ride, I questioned whether it was going to be better than Drayton Manor's Maelstrom, which is a similar ride, Intamin gyro swing. And my conclusion is, no, I don't think it is better. I feel Maelstrom at Drayton Manor has a little bit more oomph to it. And I'm not the keenest of restraints on here because they automatically come down and, and they really press up against your tummy. It really quite hurts. It doesn't hurt, but it's just uncomfortable and I feel like I enjoy Maelstrom over at Drayton Manor. However, here at Poland's Park, Cyclinator has a much longer cycle. Uh, Maelstrom at Drayton Manor has quite a short cycle. Sometimes you're only getting like 30 seconds on there, maybe like four high swings. But nonetheless, Cyclinator is a brilliant ride to have here at Poulton's Park and probably one of the best in Tornado Springs. I said earlier that I'm going to head onto the Junior Coaster after, after Cyclinator, but I've decided I think I'm going to head over to the Lost Kingdom before I do that um, because we haven't got much longer at Poulton's Park. It, it shuts at 4.30, so there's only a few hours. Uh, not the best of opening times, but it is February. So let's head, head over to the Lost Kingdom, uh, which is the dinosaur theme land here at Poulton's Park. So yeah, a bit of winter maintenance going on. I think they're replacing some of the flooring on the splash bit. This is open in the summer, but I tell you what, if it was open now, don't think anyone would be going on it. It's absolutely freezing. The good thing about Portland's Park, they've got lots of play areas as well. Over in Tornado Springs, they had two play areas, which is always good to see, because this is a park that lots of little kids come to. And going on a play area sort of breaks up the day from all the major rides. As you can see here, we're heading into the Lost Kingdom. Let's have a little bit of steam effect, shall we? <laughs> so in the Lost Kingdom, they've got meets and greets with the dinosaurs. As you can see over there, you can grab a picture with them. Oh, that's nice. They've got a little queue there. And look, the meet and, meet and eat, sorry. 12 noon and 2.30 p.m. Here you go, here's the dinosaur. It comes out, very cool. And yeah, you can get in the queue, have a little photo with him. Very cool experience. Down here in the Lost Kingdom, you've got two different roller coasters to experience. Velociraptor, the Vacoma Boomerang Coaster, as you can see here, Junior Boomerang Coaster. And also Flight of the Petrosaurus, the Vacoma Suspended Coaster. Two different Vac Vacoma coasters to experience. And also, there's two flat rides. You've got that one over there, I'm not too sure what to call it. Mini break dance, I'm gonna call that. And also a wave swing in the background. But the first ride that I'm gonna head on is Flight of the Petrosaurus. Here we go, flight of the Pletrosaurus, nice opening. 1.2 meters and eight years unaccompanied ride height. I sort of noticed as well with Poulton's Park, they like to do ride ages, so eight years old, stuff like that, rather than height. But I tell you what, the theming is awesome. All of the 
rock work all around the ride. Fantastic. Anyway, heading up the lift hill, kick and wheel power of always on these Vacoma family suspended coasters. And here we go, down the first drop of the ride. Here Quite a new addition to the park, this one actually. Short but sweet ride, very smooth by Vacoma, only the best. So I've just had an awesome ride over on flight of the Petrosaurus, a brilliant Vacoma suspended coaster. And yeah, not the most thrilling or intense ride, but it's the perfect ride down here in Lost Kingdom at Poulton's Park. The families love it. And yeah, it looks really new. And that's what I've noticed around Poulton's Park. A lot of their rides look in really good condition. I mean, Vacoma is a great manufacturer, but I just noted all, noted all the wheel bearings, all the seats were really nicely kept. And that's what I like about Poulton's Park. A lot of their stuff, even though this area is what, seven eight years old now um, you know it's still looking really fresh and really new and I've noticed these dinosaurs also look really cool too but next up it's time for another Vacoma special it's time to head over on the boomerang coaster known as Velocicoaster hang on Velociraptor An awesome ride there on Velociraptor, not to be confused with Velocicoaster over at Universal. Yeah, a nice little Boomerang Junior coaster. Not my favourite of those, I think Accelerator at Drayton Manor is better. But still a really good ride down here at Polson's Park. That one's a little bit little bit different to Accelerator at Drayton Manor actually, because it has the little airtime hill over the station. But yeah, an awesome ride, didn't let me film on there unfortunately. But nonetheless, a brilliant little junior coaster. Next up though, I'm going to head over to Cobra. There's three different rides in that area. Probably the weakest area at Polton's, but I'll go and show you anyway. While this area doesn't have a lot of theming, you've got to give it to the Polton's Park gardening team for the awesome upkeep and maintenance of some of the bushes that they have in this area. I mean, here you can see a Cobra. Um, that's been trimmed, well a bush that's been trimmed into a cobra and that looks amazing there with all the eyes and fangs and also this hedge, I think this is the straightest hedge and I say, I say this every time I come to Poulton's Park this is the straightest hedge in theme park history I mean look at that So the first ride over in this area of the park that I'm going to head on is Cobra this ride here as you can see here yeah a bit like Rattlesnake over at Chesington but not the standout layout, it's not the standard layout. It's got a little bit of a custom design to it, which is always nice to see. I thought while I'm down here, I'd show you the edge, the Zamperla Disco Coaster is currently closed as well. That was closed actually when I came in 2021. It looks like they're still trying to find that motor. <laughs> That's what I said last year anyway. But yeah, if I come a little bit closer, you can see uh, they've got sort of wood structure over where the centerpiece of motors would usually be. So. I'm not too sure whether they're trying to find parts, um, but I believe I've heard rumours online that there's going to be a new centrepiece to it, which will be interesting to see. Perfect timing. In this vlog, I'm getting perfect timing with the coasters. Yeah, you can see over there, we've got a wooden structure on it. So potentially a new centrepiece on that, which is always great to see. I love Zamperla discos. They're great little flat rides. Are they flat rides? 
I think they are. Um, but first of all, it's time for a ride on Cobra, and then I'll head over to the drop tower, Magma. Here we go then on Cobra. No, we're not on the Zamperla Disco at Chesington. We are on the Cobra at Walton's Park. Here we go. Hey! Oh, oh. <laughs> Here we go. Turning into a helix. Helix. Good ride for Poulton's Park. Just needs a bit more theming, really. An awesome ride there on Cobra. A great little ride down here at Poulton's Park. It's a shame that they haven't really got much theming around this area um, because Cobra is a brilliant ride, one of my favourite that I've been on down here at Poulton's. Uh, but there's just not much theming, and the name opens up a lot of theming opportunities, let's be honest. I mean, they could have a big Cobra in the centre of the ride or something like that. I think it'd be awesome. Uh, but apart from that, there's just a lot of greenery, there's a lot of grass, it's just really on a grassland really. The only bit of theming that, theming that they have is a B&Q garden shed there over the bunny hill, hills. But nonetheless, it's a brilliant little coaster, running two trains, only queued about five minutes. I went in it twice actually. First time it was straight walk on, second time it was five minutes. Great little ride here at Poulton's. Next up though, it's time to head on Croc Drop, not Croc Drop, Magma, <laughs> Croc Drops at Chesington. Uh, nice little SBF Visa drop tower down here in this area of the park. There we go, a bit of a launch here on Magma. The drop tower down here at Bolton's Park. One of three technically, because there's two junior ones over in um, Tornado Springs, Tornado Alley, Tornado Springs. Yeah, Tornado Springs. There we go, nice oh, aerial view of the park. Oh, nice little drop there as well. Yeah, it looks like they're doing a bit of construction there, which is interesting. Yeah, this is the area of the park that probably needs the most work done to it. Nice little theme. Ooh. Nice little theme would be nice. Ooh. <laughs> I tell you what, this has a better drop than um, Chesington's croc drop. This has a better, better drop, I believe, personally. We've got a little log flume over there. That's one of the rides that is closed today, unfortunately. Not that I'd really want to go on it anyway. Whoa! <laughs> There's Cobra over there in the distance. Yeah, this is a really nice park, really well kept by the owners as well. Yeah, another ride that clo that's closed is Edge. A little drop there as well. Yeah, Edge, the Zamperla disco coaster. One of the larger models is closed. And it looks like they're going to have a new centerpiece on that as well. They've got like a box around it where all the motor is. So hopefully a new centerpiece comes for it. Oh, I think that should be the last drop now. There we go. We slowly get back down into the volcano. Great little ride. So I've just had an awesome ride over on Magma, a brilliant little SBF visa uh, drop tower. However, at the start it has a little bit of a push up, I guess, out of the volcano. Which is quite cool. For a moment there, I thought, what's going on? And they reversed it to a shot and drop tower. <laughs> but nonetheless, all jokes aside, really good ride down here 
at Polton's Park. But next up, as I said earlier on in the video, I'd come back and do Farmyard Flyers. This is one of the new little junior coasters here in Tornado Springs that opened last season. I just want to say the entrance looks awesome with a huge plane wing there. It's only on five minutes, so I'll go in and take a ride. Yeah, look at that sign with cyclones going on in the background. And here we go on to Farmyard Flyers. The queues down here at Tornado Springs and actually in Lost Kingdom as well are really nicely themed, which is really cool. And yeah, you get some good views of Cyclone Acer. Let's watch it go past. There we are, wow. Brilliant ride that is. Um, but yeah, really nicely themed. It's not just all cats, all pen. You've got hair and then you go up. It's quite nice, I like it. But yeah, when the area opened back in 2021, uh, this ride wasn't open, so it wasn't ready to open. Uh, so instead, they delayed it till this, not this year, last season. But yeah, this is going to be my first ride on it. And yeah, I love the queues. Look at all the details here. The chickens and everything. Looks awesome. Let's take a ride. Here we go then on Farmyard Flyers. One of the newest coasters. Well, the newest coaster down here at Bolton's Park. Loving the theming around it. Manufactured by Zamperla. And it's a two lap special. Macro ride as well. Oh, I love the little details on the floor there. Looks like an actual farm. Station's nicely themed as well. Very bright, vibrant blue for the track colour. Nice brown for the supports. Yeah, I love the theming. It's got quite a bit, quite a bit of kick to it to be fair on back row. On this large, long train. Flash for the camera. There we go, two lap special, Farmyard Flyers, new to Bolton's Park. Brilliant ride. Brilliant I'll tell you what, for a junior coaster, that is quite snappy on the back row. An awesome ride on Farmyard Flyers, the newest roller coaster to Bolton's Park. Absolutely brilliant. And the train, the amount of detail on the front, the little propeller spells, it spins. It's really cool, really good ride. The station's well themed. And that's the good thing with Bolton's Park. These little rides, you know, if they were put in a park with nothing, they wouldn't be that great, but because of the theming, um, because of the attention to detail that Poulton's Park have put into that, it's an amazing ride, um, and I definitely recommend doing it if you have small kids, or even if you're coming here by yourself, get on there. It's a brilliant ride. You get a two-lap two lap special as well, which is absolutely awesome. Next up, I'm gonna have a little look around Pepper Pig's World, um, and then probably wrap up my day down here from Poulton's Park, maybe do a few more re-rides, uh, but before all that, let's have a little look around Peppa Pig World. The world of Peppa Pig, Peppa Pig's World, whatever it's called. Peppa Pig World is one of the most popular themed areas here in the UK. And in the distance you can see the George and Peppa meet and greet. That's quite a long queue. But yeah, I love the characters, they look great. The nice little waterfall down here. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a lot bigger actually. It's the Thomas Land down at Drayton Manor. This is a huge area. Uh, but yeah, it's really nicely themed as well. And you've got multiple different rides, which I'll show you now. Down here in Peppa Pig World, you've also got a huge indoor play area, George's Spaceship Play Zone. And yeah, when I was younger, I used to watch Peppa Pig. I remember these little ducks in the pond. They actually spin sometimes. I don't know whether they're working today. <laughs> but that's funny because all the coins have been removed. I remember coming here in 2021. They must empty it every season and collect the coins. <laughs> Helping the theme park industry. Put your pennies in the well. Oh yeah, you've got a nice little sort of water ride down here, very nice. Yeah, the land overall is really nicely themed, I like it. Got a little train ride down there. And up there you got a little monorail ride. At least you can actually see out that monorail and like the Orton Towers one. <laughs> you got the air balloons, very nice. And yeah, that's pretty much all the rides in this area. But it's really nicely themed, really nicely done. You've also got a helicopter ferris wheel sort of ride down there. And I think there's some sort of meet and greet in that house, Peppa Pig's house. There must be some sort of meet and greet or a tour around her house or something. But yeah, the attention to detail in this area is really nice. I really like it. I don't know how popular Peppa Pig is anymore, really. Is it still popular? I'm not too sure. Is it still on TV anymore? I'm pretty sure it is, but it's still nice to see this land up and as clean and as fresh as it was when it opened. It's a digger. It must mean it's construction time. New ride is splashing into Lost Kingdom in 2024. And here we go. Here's an exclusive look at the inside of the construction site. Let's have a little zoom in on the digger there. 
there we go. But in all seriousness, yeah, new ride splashing in to Lost Kingdom 2024. It's not a huge sight, um, but it seems good enough to have a water ride on. Could we be seeing a log flume here? Of course, we know that Poulton's Park don't actually have a permanent log flume. They have the Funfair one, but that can easily be removed. So I'd like to see a permanent log flume here. That'd be quite cool to see. Um, potentially water mania ride here. Rapids maybe. Definitely not a big enough space for that. Um, but yeah, very exciting times. What could it be? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I'll come back in 2024 to find out. There seems to be a lot of water rides being implemented in theme parks at the minute. Of course, Drayton Manor's got a new water ride coming in 2023. Go and check out the exclusive update if you haven't already. But yeah, there we go. There's a look into the construction site coming in 2024. So there we go, I am my day at Poulton's Park on the front plaza and is it worth a visit? Yes, 100%. This park has an amazing range of rides for the kids. Uh, from the newest area, Tornado Springs, Lost Kingdom, Cobra, they have an amazing range of roller coasters and rides. And while the ticket hub price is high, yes it is, £40 or over £50 on the, on the, uh, on the gate, it's got an amazing set of rides. And honestly, I definitely recommend heading here um, if you can. It's towards sort of Southampton sort of way uh, but it's an amazing park they've got so much to offer here and it's a beautiful park it's so well kept I don't think I emphasized in this vlog just how well the park is kept I didn't see any litter on the floor everything's nicely jet washed the gardens look amazing you had a little look at the animals and birds that they've got there um, overall there's nothing to complain about this park it's honestly awesome the rides here are amazing favorite ride here it's got to be the max spinner hasn't it um, Storm Chaser, brilliant. Cyclonator is another awesome ride. Uh, and the theming as well is amazing. The animatronics of the dinosaur over in Lost Kingdom, those dinosaurs are amazing. Brilliant. This park has so much to offer. I definitely recommend getting down here. It's the first major park to be open, fully anyway, um, this season. And yeah, definitely recommend getting down here. If you did enjoy the video, do consider subscribing as I make theme park content every week for you to enjoy. And if you want to see all the latest theme park news and exclusive updates, then check out my exclusive theme park news playlist. Forgot what it was there. Uh, where we upload all the latest and exclusive theme park news updates from all across the UK. And if you want to see more vlogs like this one, be sure to check out the vlogs playlist where you'll see many more like these ones. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.